This is an installation guide for Aquafast large diameter couplings and flange adapters from Viking Johnson. This video is designed to guide you through the installation, but should not be used as a replacement for the printed instructions. Please follow health and safety guidelines pertaining to the country of operation. Hand protection, eye protection, a hard hat and safety boots should be worn at all times as well as any other site-specific safety considerations. You will need a marker pen, a tape measure, a rag and file, a water quality approved lubricant, a deep drive socket. The Aquafast large diameter coupling comes fully assembled and is ready to fit to the pipe. Check that you have installation instructions and that all boats are in situ. Be sure to observe manual handling regulations whilst carrying out the installation. This is an example of a typical lifting mechanism. Before you begin the installation, examine the pipe ends and ensure they are round and not distorted in shape. Also, check that the pipes are smooth and free from dents, scratches and score marks. Use a file and rag to remove any imperfections. Each pipe end should be square with a recommended chamfered edge of at least 45 degrees by 20 millimeters. Check the outside diameter of the pipe. Check compliance with the product label and that the working pressure is suitable for your specific applications. To aid installation, mark both pipes with the nominal insertion depth as shown in the IOM, using the end of the pipe as a reference. In summary, check product suitability. Ensure the product is clean and free from score marks. Chamfer both pipe ends. Mark each pipe with the nominal insertion depth. You are now ready to begin assembling the coupling. A thin layer of RAS approved lubricant should be applied to the fixed pipe end and the first lip gasket before installation. Slide the Aquafast coupling fully onto the fixed pipe as far as it will go, so that the pipe is pressed against the lip of the second gasket. In summary, use a water quality approved lubricant to aid the fitting of the gasket. Slide the coupling onto the fixed pipe. It is important to make sure that the pipes are properly aligned before they are joined. Line up the center line that runs along the two pipes. Referencing the setting gap table as shown in the IOM. The free pipe may need to be moved to suit the setting gap. Use a tape measure to measure at the pipe ends to check the setting gap. Using the marks already made, slide the Aquafast coupling to a central position over the pipe ends. The ends of the product should align with the insertion depth marks. If the product does not align with the insertion depth mark, the pipe has not fully pushed past the gasket or has been inserted too deep and either the product may leak on pressurization or cause interference between the two pipes. The clamp bands can be rotated to ensure that the bolts are in the desired position for tightening. If an adjustment needs to be made, unwind the bolts enough to allow the clamp bands to be rotated to the desired position. The bolts are reversible to add flexibility to the installation. Prior to bolt up, 
there must be clearance between the centralization bolts and the sleeve to allow for the clamp bands to be drawn in. Unwind the centralization bolts so there is a small gap of about 5 mm between the bolt cap and the sleeve. In summary, align the two pipes and adjust the setting gap, referencing the setting gap table. Slide the Aquafast coupling to a central position over the two pipe ends, between the pipe markings. Rotate the clamp bands to ensure that the bolts are in the desired position for tightening. Check centralization. Using the deep socket, commence bolt up of the clamp band assembly of the coupling, working around each clamp band in sequence on the fixed pipe, giving each nut one or two turns at a time to draw the clamp bands towards the pipe. The centralization bolts need to be continually unwound during bolt up to ensure that they are not in contact with the sleeve. Repeat these steps for the clamp bands on the free pipe. Repeat until a positive stop is achieved when the bolt lugs of the clamp bands are all in contact with each other. Use the centralization bolts to ensure that the clamp band fins are equal distance from the sleeve of the Aquafast coupling. In summary, using the deep socket, work around each clamp band in sequence, evenly tightening each of the three clamp band bolts, giving each nut one or two turns at a time. The centralization bolts need to be continually unwound during bolt up to ensure that they are not in contact with the sleeve. A positive stop is completed when the bolt lugs of the clamp bands are all in contact with each other. Complete a pressure test and commission. The following instructions are for installing an Aquafast flange adapter onto an adjoining flange. To aid installation, mark the pipe with the minimum and maximum insertion depths as shown in the IOM, using the end of the pipe as a reference. Slide the Aquafast flange adapter onto the fixed pipe. The end of the product should sit between the minimum and maximum insertion depth marks on the pipe. Ensure the setting gap in the IOM between the end of the pipe and the raised face of the Aquafast flange adapter is correct. Then repeat the clamp band bolt up procedure as per the coupling instructions until a positive stop is achieved and the fins are centralized. Line up the bolt holes of the flange with the Aquafast flange adapter. Fit a flange gasket between the two mating flanges. Viking Johnson recommends the use of an inside bolt circle gasket. Ensure it is placed over the raised face of the Aquafast flange. Secure and torque up the fasteners using standard bolting procedures. Viking Johnson. Pipe connections, repair and flow control products for the utilities industry.